Alright guys, so welcome to another video for the Mi 11X Poco F3 also known as the Redmi K20 Pro. Now from the looks of it, you already know that this is a video about Descendant OS. Now this will be interesting because I have been using this ROM as my personal daily for the last 3 to 4 days and the impressions are pretty pretty amazing. So I thought I should share it with you guys as well. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. We have a giveaway going on for our premium cases so do participate there the link is mentioned in the description now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going All right, so first things first, what do we have here? We have a Mi 11X that is Elliot in the Indian update working on Descendant OS. This is a hot fix version that I had flashed. So the changelog will be slightly small, but if you look at the changelog prior to this, there are quite a lot of changes that they have made. Now, all these things are, yeah, if the flash fails with K-install error, try to error into TWR pin, merge snapshot, and then retry. Anyways, I've not encountered any of those issues. This is based on Android 12 L, updated on the 8th of May 2022. And we are on, say, the 13th of May. So it's been three to four days that I've been using. And I'll tell you this right off the bat, you know, I would not like to make you wait till the end. This is one of the ROMs which you can rely on and you can use daily. There are a couple of issues that I faced, which I'll definitely share. But overall, as a daily driver, even with root access, yeah, with root access, you're able to use banking applications and all those things. Anyways, so the moment you boot into this particular ROM, over here, you will notice that everything is normal. Everything is standard. You know, you have your standard Google feed, which is running but as smooth as ever on uh, the Mi 11X on custom ROMs. No issues whatsoever. The smoothness, overall fluidity of the ROM is splendid. It works perfectly fine. I really hope someday, uh, you know, MIUI can run this smooth. Probably in MIUI 20, it will be this smooth. Anyways, but the moment you swipe from the top to bottom, I have customized the status bar and the quick tiles to see this particular new layout. You do have a data dashboard over here, which you can go ahead and enable in settings, right? So it gives you Wi-Fi usage for the last 24 hours, SIM usage for the last 24 hours, download speed, that is the internet speed meter. Then you have your clock over here, which is clickable, which is really, really nice. You do have your weather over here. You have your date and then you have your battery estimates and uh, yeah, a lot of things. Now these quick tiles, definitely they look different compared to uh, your standard Android 12 quick tiles. Ignore this. I'm, I was listening to some music and it's still there. As I said, this is my personal primary device. So you have internet, your Bluetooth. You can see my smartwatch connected there. All the other things. You also have things like caffeine, which are available. Now, if you go to the edit menu, you will see that you do have a ton of quick tiles over here. And most of them are pretty useful, right? You have a refresh rate quick tile as well. So if we look at the refresh rate here, Okay, so this is basically advanced settings. I really don't know what exactly it is doing. It is supposed to change the refresh rate from 60 to 90 to 120 and stuff like that. But anyways, this quick tiles menu looks a little different and to my liking, it's love it or leave it. So I love it because it gives me a lot more information. Although it doesn't look as streamlined as the stock Android 12 quick tiles. Anyways, you do have themed icons. You do have the Android 12 L style uh, wallpaper picker so monet ui is present and it is doing a splendid job so no complaints there whatsoever you do have a standard uh, android 12 widgets over here always there always working as expected if you go to home settings and you go to about you will see that this is the pixel experience launcher which does have some basic tricks up its sleeve and most of them are working absolutely okay now we'll quickly dive into the about section of this rom before we proceed so you go to the android version android 12 5th may security patch so that's the latest security patch which is a good thing it comes with the descendant kernel itself and to my liking it has been performing really really good but we will talk about that a little more in detail, right? Now, if you go to network and internet, you will see that this new descendant sort of UI, which is coming all the way from Android 11, is still present in almost all the menus and it works just fine. So this is a sort of a different experience, not a major change here. But as you can see, in every sub menu, you will find this sort of a UI. 
You do have the gaming dashboard available as well, which works absolutely fine. Under notification, you do have notification history and conversations and all the other usual Android 12 stuff. Now, the moment you go to battery, you do have your battery usage. And uh, yeah, let me tell you, the battery performance for me has been splendid under, you know, heavy usage. I've been able to get five to six hours of screen on time over 24 hours. And uh, as you can see, it says a full charge lasts about 18 hours and 15 minutes because that's about how long my day is. You do have thermal profiles over here, right? So as you can see, so let me show you Antutu. Yeah, it is on performance. So you would ask me that the high touch polling rate, where is it? I'll tell you where is it in the next menu there. Right, so you have storage, sound and vibration. Again, a different UI, very, very, you know, melody oriented rim tones over here. And you do have a ton of customization, including reorient, clear speaker and all those things. So moving on to the display section over here, you will see that you have a ton of customization for your lock screen. You have your always on display, which works absolutely fine. You have touch features. So you do have double tap to wake and you have improved touch sensitivity. So remember I was saying that the high touch polling rate of option, where is it? And the auto rotation is face based minimum refresh rate. Let's put it to 120 peak refresh rate. Let's put it to 120 screen saver. So, you know, all the splendid features that you would ever ask for are present. As you can see, Monet UI is present on in all its glory. Fingerprint works absolutely fine. Face unlock works absolutely okay. So I've not had any major issues there. And apart from this, you have this dedicated digital health section, which unfortunately I have not used, but yeah, it is, it is there. Now, if you further go to, you know, system, you have gesture customizations over here. So you have all these options, including swipe to screenshot and the capture more option for expanded screenshot. So good things on Descendant as always, double tap to sleep on lock screen, double tap to check phone. Then you have a dedicated gestures magic option over here. So you can go ahead and grant permissions to it. Let's go ahead and do this. Shush on call pickup. So these things are built into this particular ROM and this only works on Descendant. I mean, I've only seen this feature on uh, De descendant so that's good so let's lock the screen here okay double tap to check the phone so not only the fingerprint and face unlock but all the other gestures and other things using live translate and other options are working absolutely fine so i've not had any major issues as far as the usability of this phone is concerned now let's talk about the issues before we actually get into you know, the performance numbers and charging speeds and stuff like that. Uh, there was only one major issue that I had. And even then, you know, that issue was not related to the ROM as far as I'm aware. Uh, the one issue that I had was whenever I was connecting the device to the computer using the USB cable, the device did reboot on me twice. That is one thing. And the auto brightness, when you move from a dark area to a very bright area, all of a sudden, the brightness works absolutely fine, but it takes maybe a couple of seconds to recognize that, you know, you have moved to a different location and uh, the brightness needs to increase. So apart from those two issues, I've not had any call drops. I've not had any major issues related to reception or, you know, the charging speed are pretty close to 31 to 32 watts. So very solid charging speeds. And as I said, the battery backup is pretty insane as well. Now, if we actually go to Google Photos here, As you can see, the unlimited backup option is enabled and let's go to screenshots here. So the performance is pretty splendid. Average score of 231076 GIPS. Ignore this small dip over here. That was a notification and the CPU throttled to 93% of its max performance. And the same story continues with Antutu benchmark as well, right? If you look at the score, 691,101, not the highest score, but on the higher side, and moving on, if you actually go to Geekbench, this is very impressive here. 975-3289. This is absolutely close to MIUI's stock score. So, you know, splendid performance across the board. Brilliant battery life. You do get 90 FPS unlocked by default in BGMI and a few other games. So that is a good thing. Not only this ROM is great for day-to-day -day usage, you can also use it for gaming. I did try 90 FPS gaming and my experience was pretty solid. So, you know, 
with an open mind and open heart, I would recommend all Mi 11X users to go ahead and give Descendant OS a try. Their latest build is splendid. In fact, it has not made me feel even once that, you know, I'm using a custom ROM because I'll tell you before we end the video, I'll tell you why I'm saying that. Let's quickly show you that we do have 90 FPS over here. As you can see, smooth 90 is present. So that is a good thing. And one more thing here. This is what I have installed. I have installed ANX camera. Not all the features are working. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a video on how to install ANX camera's latest version on a ASP ROM on Mi 11X or Poco F3. So all in all, pretty splendid experience with MIUI's camera, decent battery life, smooth operation, no random reboots. Brilliant job by Descendant team. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off its phone ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.